so for me i have seen the vara lord works and the houses which it rules then the place where it is placed the house where it is placed the exaltation or debilitation or the dignity then the ascendant which planets mm -hmm. are in the ascendant what is going on in your head then mm -hmm. you check the lord of the ascendant what is the situation of the lord of the ascendant and then of course we check the karaka who is the karaka for that house so right. so when we do this analysis and uh, then we get an understanding that what is the chances of that event happening at all or if there is any chance at all of that happening and if you see everything is spoiled then <laughs> most of the times it's a no if the person is asking oh, will i get promotion and if these planets are in the 8th or the 12th then 99% of the cases i have seen the person doesn't get promotion Okay, and if yes for marriage, sixth house is involved. Forget it. <laughs> yeah. So now suppose they ask, okay, I want to get married. Uh, how can I get married? Uh, so so if the fourth house is involved, then maybe the mother can recommend. If the ninth house, then the father, or if Mercury, then the relatives. You know. So that's how you can figure out from where the person can. Uh, find somebody to get married or who can help him to get married you know then you can also check the navamsha so once you finalize which are the most important planets in that prashna chart you check the navamsha chart for that prashna chart okay i have one more question before we move to navamsha it is like uh, the uh, lagna rising it has got a say like suppose if it is a fixed lagna for example it is leo taurus scorpio right then can we say the outcome of the prashna is more towards positive suppose if a, if a person asked when will i get a job then we if we see a leo rising uh, considering all other factors as well the vara lord the day lord the as position of the ascendant and the moon if we see a fixed lagna rising then we can we can say one plus to that thing that okay he will be getting very soon maybe the timeline we can find later so the outcome more towards positive uh no i would not say positive or negative i would say the change is difficult okay mm -hmm. so it's a fixed lagna so if a person is unemployed that means he will remain unemployed okay no okay. not not permanently but it will take some time oh. mm -hmm. so the sthira lagnas they are fixed right so uh so there therefore the time is even more i have seen and if it's a chala lagna then bang on Uh-huh. Then immediately we can see results immediately, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. it can be for worse also. Suppose somebody is asking me, uh, my marriage is I am married and my marriage is not very good. Okay. Okay. Then what will happen? Will my marriage improve or deteriorate? Mm -hmm. And if you see the sixth house is very strongly playing a role. Mm -hmm. and the lagna is either aries uh, libra or capricorn or this um, cancer then mm -hmm. bang on it is going to spoil very fast because now the negativity will change very fast you see it will turn negative very fast and if the trines are involved and the seventh house is involved then the the marriage will become better very fast okay okay mm -hmm. yeah so now if it's a sthira lagna then mm -hmm. marriage will improve oh, yeah yes no will it be bad worse mm -hmm. uh yes no after some time not now mm -hmm. and generally mm -hmm. it has to do with um i have seen when uh the plan the lord of the lagna in transit whenever mm -hmm. they will uh, again somehow impact these planets and then it will happen so for example uh, suppose somebody is a scorpio rising okay uh, then mars becomes the lagna lord okay right so mars is currently in the second house in sagittarius mm -hmm. okay i mean in transit currently okay yes mm -hmm. and then suppose somehow the question is pertaining to marriage and all this and scorpio is its sthira lagna again mm -hmm. so then when mars again goes to sixth house he will again aspect the ascendant with the eighth mm -hmm. aspect Mm -hmm. or in transit he will aspect the seventh lord venus something something of this sort will happen mm -hmm. then the event happens i mean that that's a different analysis altogether when that happens but right. this is how i have seen you know the lagna is very important and the lagnesh is also very important. Mm -hmm. 
very important right? yes mm -hmm. and uh, yeah and if it's a dual rashi the ascendant then it's like i would say uh, there is some amount of free will it's like uh, if you want you can ruin your marriage now suppose if the ma marriage is not going good and the sthira lagna is uh, this uh, dwi sabhava dual sign is rising and then suppose the negative pull is more you know sixth house is becoming very prominent then you know that the marriage can um, the marriage can go down mm -hmm. but because mm -hmm. it is a dual sign you can tell the person that if um, if you take the right steps it may not happen mm -hmm. but if it mm -hmm. is a chala agna then bang on it's happening then it is happening right right mm -hmm. and it depends on the nakshatra also that is like the most crucial stuff mm -hmm. and i have always seen if there are certain nakshatras which are generally not very good for marriage not not marriage for any relationship mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. like i have seen bharani is one then i have seen kritika is one then i have seen mm -hmm. jeshta these nakshatras are very difficult when it right. comes to you know joining because these are very uh, individualized very centric nakshatras you know which only want mm -hmm. their own profit there self centric yeah yes mm -hmm. exactly ashlesha at times mm -hmm. and marha also at times so then you know the, the sustaining the marriage is even more difficult like these nakshatras become very prominent mm -hmm. because you are only thinking of yourself you 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 are not interested in the other person so and on the other hand if there are other nakshatras which uh, which help marriage you know like for example mrikshira can be one then pushya mm -hmm. can be one and mm -hmm. revati can be one then then we know that uh, the probability that the marriage becomes better is more mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. yeah and generally i have seen some of the nakshatras also speak in the flavor only of the event mm -hmm. So I have seen most of the times if the marriage is supposed to improve, then these nakshatras become very prominent, like Pushya or Mrikshira or uh, at times uh, Anuradha. Sometimes, mm -hmm. yeah, because then they want to keep things together. You see, not just break apart and do what you want. Right, right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So these are the ways by which you can look. And if you have any other questions, or else we can go to the example charts. Mm. We were talking about Navmansha also. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So if Navmansha has to be looked, if you if the birth chart is not giving you a clue. Okay. Or if you are confused, so let's give me a, let me give an example. Suppose the day lord is exalted, but the Karaka is debilitated. Mm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Then how do you know which is more stronger? Then you see the Navamsha. Okay. He's born. He's born. Uh, the question was on a Wednesday. Mercury is ruling the. Um, Mercury rules the second house, for example, and he's in debility. But mm -hmm. the Karaka, Jupiter is in Cancer. So what will happen? Or he's in mm -hmm. decline. Then you have to yeah. connect with the Navamsha. Uh, which planet is actually more strong? Stronger in the sense. Is there any way that this debility can get help from the D9? Mm. Or is there any way that this exaltation can be ruined? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So uh, once, uh, if there are such contradictory observations, mm. then you must check the D9. Or you must okay. also check the D9 to confirm that it is actually going to happen. And many times people, uh, they, they will say that, oh, uh, I want a promotion. But then suppose in the D9, uh, the planets are not very well placed. Then mm -hmm. what will happen? He will get a promotion superficially. Mm -hmm. Title mm -hmm. will change, mm -hmm. but uh, it will not have any monetary and what benefits or I mean just a name. In the name, it's a promotion, for example. Mm -hmm. Just name sake sort of. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but because the lagna chart is indicating and it is physical, it will happen. Mm -hmm. it has to happen. Mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, at least mm -hmm. ten people around you will know you are promoted. <laughs> then mm -hmm. when your family knows have you actually been promoted yes or no, no that your family will tell <laughs> mm -hmm. so, uh, yeah for well, that that you verify the navamsha and yeah i have seen uh, karakas are very important and natural benefits are also very important mm -hmm. 
Very important, right? The natural benefits are in the ascendant. Very good. Things are very. Mm. Mm. But then you are naturally thinking good, na? So, or if the lagnesh is with a natural benefit. So in, in, imagine Jupiter is in the lagna. Yeah. You are by default very positive. You are only thinking positive. So uh, the outcome can be on your side if you are always positive. Okay. Not mm -hmm. that you are only positive intellectually, mentally. You are all. You will also do things accordingly. You will have more confidence. Mm -hmm. And imagine if Shani is in Lagna, then you are very pessimistic. You are doubting yourself always. So right. That can add to the problem. Right. Right. So natural benefits can really help, and the trinal lords also help. I have seen. Okay. So okay. trinal lords can tell you to what extent they will help, especially in matters of childbirth, marriage, which has to do with the trines, you know, the dynasty, mm -hmm. five yeah, nine. Yeah. They always mm -hmm. help, I have seen, always, 1000%, they will always help you. Mm -hmm. And of course, the golden rule, sixth, eighth and twelfth, these are the stana houses. Right. <laughs> Right, right, All the right, problems right. in this world is because of these houses. Okay, these three houses. Yeah. So mm -hmm. if the A Lord is conjunct these three lords or one of them or two of them, uh, it's... <laughs> mm, then delays and misery. Yeah, and sixth that. house can give delays. Eighth house will mm -hmm. give you uh, sudden reversals. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And twelfth house is loss only. <laughs> right, right, right. Twelfth house is gone. <laughs> Right. So I have seen out of 10, 8 cases, I have seen 7 to 8 or maybe 9 cases, you know, it's like usual when I do Prasna. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A Lord is conjunct the 12th or aspected or in the 12th or lording the 12th, you know it is going to be a no most of the time. Right. Right. Uh, unless the other combinations are uh, super fantastic and the other placements are really bombastic, then then it could necessarily not be a loss. Mm -hmm. I kind of take it as a thumb rule these days. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Cut things short. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is somehow involved because twelfth house is the loss of the lagna, right? The whole horoscope is only going down. So I mean, yeah, how yeah. do you expect that you get that? Right. Or if mm -hmm. it happens that a lord is ruling the twelfth and it is sitting in the tenth house. Okay. Then it's mm -hmm. like saying the loss will happen through career. Then what to speak of getting promotion, you may get demotion. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That also I've seen happen. Mm -hmm. And if the lagnesh is involved, you get into depression. <laughs> mm -hmm. Lagnesh is you, right? Your brain. Mm -hmm. The lagnesh is not, you know, okay, I got demoted, fine, no problem. I will search better. Right? Oh my God, lagnesh is involved. I got demoted. How can I face my other client? How can I face my colleagues? What will they tell behind me? How can I see my family members? They will laugh at me. My friends, my relatives, they will. <sighs> so, lag Lagnesh is also very crucial. Lagnesh will tell you how you are viewing the situation. Right, right. What is your attitude towards what is going on in life? Some people, they have so many things and one small thing is wrong and it's over. <laughs> and some people, you know, there's nothing right in their life. But that one small thing goes right and they bloom like anything like the lotus right, right. and of course if you have the original birth chart rule number one that is <laughs> mm -hmm. I mean, the, the person can never overwrite the birth chart or the dasha <laughs> if exactly. your if your marriage is denied in your birth chart <laughs> then mm -hmm. no. doesn't matter what is in your ascendant in Prasna, mm. where your day lord is, where Venus is, Jupiter is, mm. it doesn't matter. Mm. Right, right. And one, I have one more thing to uh, say here. This Prashna Kundli, no, it acts as a motion chart, a chart in motion, right? Suppose there is a sambandh between, uh, so any sort of sambandh or relation between Karesh, the question asked, and the Lagnesh. And when, when is that sambandh going to happen in the transit? We can give the timeline to the person that during this time to this time, you you can expect a job opportunity or a job call from, uh, or an interview call like that. 
suppose there is a, a question regarding when will i get my job then laganesh and vikarish the sixth house then whenever we are seeing any relationship in the transit then we can give those timelines to the person to our clients like uh, these are your best of your timelines that you can expect a, uh, expect an interview call from the uh, people from the employer that way is right it acts as a motion chart a chart in motion right yes yes that is like uh, once you know what is the flavor of the chart uh, you have mm -hmm. seen all these factors then you mm -hmm. check uh, when that can happen right and for mm -hmm. that you you have to check uh, if somehow the 10th lord is associated so suppose if the question is about promotion or job okay. mm -hmm. or job you can also take 6th house but for promotions it has to be either the 10th lord or the 11th lord 11th mm -hmm. if that mm -hmm. is in transit aspecting the lagna or the lagnesh somehow that mm -hmm. is really coming to him you see it mm -hmm. is happening it it's happening mm -hmm. and if it is in sol defemi then the eighth lord okay now suppose the eighth lord in six is in six and then after 10 days it goes to seventh from there it shoots to the lagna the aspect mm -hmm. bang on mm -hmm. that is the day it starts mm -hmm. and of course ultimately everything will happen when the moon joins correct because the moon mm -hmm. is the mind you, it's like uh, you you have been insulted but you have not felt it how can it be like <laughs> <laughs> it can be the opposite nobody has insulted you still you are unhappy that is possible right sometimes <laughs> it's very unusual that somebody has insulted you and you are like oh actually i am atma ram you know it doesn't affect me i am happy with what the god has given <laughs> that that rarely happens i have seen and yes that that is a different sign sort whether you check uh if it's a sthira lagna then you know the delay is more mm -hmm. or because if it's a sthira lagna i have seen one round is not enough it, it takes two rounds two rounds means suppose uh, mars is in your fifth house and mars controls the area of the question or something like this okay. then from sixth it will aspect your lagna okay mm -hmm. but if your lagna is sthira lagna it will not happen that time then you have to wait till mars goes to 10th from there he will aspect mm -hmm. then in the second attempt it happens or if mars is retrograde even then this happens mm -hmm. but again that's the predicament if it is a planet like saturn then god knows when saturn will aspect because he doesn't change sign mm -hmm. <laughs> so that's again the thumb rule saturday that, that's why it's delay you see in saturday because mm -hmm. If it doesn't happen, then you don't know where when Shani will aspect where. Mm -hmm. So th that's uh, and I've also seen like this: if Saturn uh, is in fifth and the question is pertaining to marriage, then he aspects the second, seventh, and eleventh, all the three houses of marriage. Mm -hmm. Then also there could be delays. I've seen. Mm -hmm. And if Jupiter is there, then Jupiter doesn't necessarily. Uh, make things very fast but it gives you good guidance i've seen mm -hmm. so sometimes people i had made a video in my channel two years back that when should you go to an astrologer for a consultation okay. mm -hmm. that i said that uh, if you if if your trines trinal lords are well placed during transit for you are running the sars of trines or at least the pratyantas then you should go for a consultation okay, mm -hmm. okay. So then, when the person comes to me uh, for a consultation, I check the time and I quickly draw a personal chart. Mm -hmm. That personal chart tells me how much effort I should put in the consultation. Correct. Mm -hmm. Because if I see Jupiter is badly placed, it doesn't make sense to invest too much energy there. Mm -hmm. Why? Because the person will not listen to you. Mm -hmm. Right. What is the use of consulting somebody for one hour, two hour, explaining, explaining? The person will not do only what you say. Why, why, why do, why do waste so much of your energy? Right, right. Or if the lagnesh is somewhere with Rahu Ketu, then the person is very whimsical. Mm. Whimsical means you don't know when they will do what. Mm. When Prashna, I have seen Rahu Ketu one seven axis. <laughs> mm. <laughs> You you will tell uh, like uh, there was a 
lady she was from uh, she was an indian lady uh, but she was uh, she used to stay in london like you know, british type but uh, indian origin of course mm -hmm. so then we had the consultation and it was very nice she was very nice very good and then uh, after then suddenly then the next day morning she sends me a mail that oh i was not happy with the reading you know can you give me another reading and i'm like what i mean the reading went so nicely yesterday then how, how do you suddenly say that the reading was not nice then then i see the prashna chart when she had booked the consultation uh, she had this rahu ketu 17 axis very whimsical unpredictable you don't know when they will do what Mm -hmm. in fact mm -hmm. they can also they may scold you during the consultation and after 10 days they may send you some donations <laughs> you never know what they will do <laughs> highly unpredictable mm -hmm. yeah rahu ketu i have seen the one one man that had happened you know like when i was about to do the consultation and then he said oh you are not doing guru mantras before consultation what consultation are you doing <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, after one hour he was nice and then after two days you know he had sent me some little donation extra I said oh I like the consultation very much I'm like my god what, <laughs> what <should I> do? <laughs> so yeah this 17x is very unpredictable you, you never know what they will end up doing mm -hmm. and if of course the standard rules of astrology always hold to if there are raj yogas if there are mahapurush yogas then the the person has a higher capacity to achieve things in that area of the person otherwise the person is just sitting and expecting for that perfect thing to happen to him <laughs> like most of the people you know my, my, my when my dasha will change when will my life change you know my my dasha has to change after all right only then my life can change without the dasha change how will my life change because the dasha planets are over my head and they are you know eating up me so see this dasha planet is giving me depression so i must drink there's no other option so yeah, so if, if that's the behavior, then you know it's very difficult. And also, the omens are very important. Nimittas. Yes, yes, yes. 